Good morning, everyone. If you're new here, I'm Sandy. This is Tim. Hello. <laughs> and I'm sure you've met Pablo. We are rebuilding this van. This week, we're installing some skylights and some windows. If they arrive, they haven't arrived yet, but we have got a skylight. And what's the other thing? Max Air fan. Oh, and a Max Air fan. <laughs> so we're swapping everything around that's on the ceiling. Um, we just want a bit more light in there. If you've known, if you've seen our previous vlogs, it's very dark in the back. So we just want to. Also, we're taking the aircon unit off because that is a monster. It weighs 50 kilos and it's sitting on the roof, and we don't want it there. That's the no, wrong we don't place for 50 kilos it. of extra weight. You probably think we're nuts. We don't want air conditioning and it's 35 degrees. Yeah. But with the two Max Air fans and the skylight and the doors, it'll be lovely and cool. It will. Let's get to it. Right, before we get started with the skylight and start cutting big holes to put the skylight in, we need to remove that. That was the original Max Air fan that we fitted last year. Um, that's going to be repurposed. Once the air conditioning comes out, that's where that's going to go. And then we have a brand new Max Air fan that's going to go in the front just above the passenger seat so let's get started welcome to the roof of our van as you can see it's a rather filthy looking roof and we've got a big old aircon unit up there that needs to come out this is the max air fan that's coming out and this is where the skylight's going to go um, all this rusty stuff on the roof this is all going to be sanded down and repainted and we're going to seal it with a rhino paint which is really strong and tough we painted pepper with that last year I'm so excited to put this skylight in um, for a couple of reasons. First reason is that if you've seen our van before, the whole back is very, very dark and we can't see, we can't film. Um, a second reason is I just want to see the stars at night. I've got a, I've got a telescope that I have to use. <laughs> so I'm so excited. So behind me, we have the box where it came in. So we'll just do the unboxing for you to see what it comes with. And Tim will go through that with you. So what's in the box? We have a Max Air Skymax LX skylight. Now this skylight comes with LED lighting. It also has blackout blinds and also a bug screen. That's, that's the surround. It's much bigger than the hole that we've got in the roof at the moment. So this is gonna look nice when it's done. It's scary cutting such a big hole. Now, here is the Sky Max Skylight. It's a big old beast. And that opens up from the inside. Right, so. So. And that's, that can be set at different heights and adjustable. It's got a different adjustable track in it. When it's in place. So let's put it on here like this. There you go. Huge, it's though. huge. <laughs> it's massive. I'm really happy with that. And we can also access the roof easily. So we can get up on the roof out of the bed. Right. Also, also, you can operate the bed and come out with the roof like a sea captain or a tank driver sea or something. Captain. I know what I'm on. I don't know what I'm about. <laughs> Just elevated out through the hatch, yes. if you like. So this skylight um, is way bigger than we thought it was going to be, but it's it's so much better than I thought it was going to be, and it's nice and tinted. And I'm just so excited to have some light in the back of that van. It's going to look so so good. Look at all the light coming through already. <laughs> and it's only a small little hole from. Uh, the Max Air fan. It's from the Max Air fan, yes. Yeah, yeah, I'm so excited. So it managed to salvage all the, the original fittings from the Max Air fan, all it needs is a clean. Yeah. It's not too bad. <laughs> I like how you have to wear sunnies inside there now. <laughs> so, excuse me while I drink my AG1. Um, <laughs> not, not sponsored. Yeah, we're just about to cut a massive hole in the roof. These aren't safety glasses. These are my normal glasses, but I feel safer with them on. So I'm going to try and uh, get up there so you can have a look. <laughs> well, 
Well, it's tidy hole. Where do you fit? Don't scratch yourself. No, I'm not scratching myself. This, this was cleaned off nicely, so. Oh, killed me now. What? I didn't make the hole big enough for the jigsaw to go into. <laughs> Coming back. Back to folks. <laughs> I'm this so is nervous. This is easy. <laughs> Honestly. <It's laughs> That's a noisy bit. How's it looking? <laughs> yeah. Right, in blood. Yeah, I had to stand back a little bit there because uh, there was metal flying around and. Don't metal him, I you one. Um, so he's just going. It's, it's got iron. <laughs> um, he's just going in to get some earplugs. It's really, really loud. But we'll come back to you when it's uh, cut. Oh, I didn't. Ex I didn't expect that to drop like that. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Wow. How cool is that? Oh, it's heavy. Oh. Oh, I love it. Like a glove. Does it fit perfectly? I've got to trim some bits on it. Yeah. Yeah. Well done. I'm so I'm so happy. <laughs> so what do you uh, need to do now? So what I need to do now is just uh, rust treat the edges of this, file them down, get all rid of all the sharp edges, uh, yeah. um, paint the edges so they don't rust. Yeah. Um, then I've got to get the skylight frame and just where we've got little bumps here. Yep. We've got to just cut little inserts into the the actual frame itself so it sits flush to the nice. body work. Look how much light has come again. It's so nice. It's so typical, um, we have a massive hole in the ceiling and it started raining. I feel like every time I talk to you, it's raining. <laughs> so we've got a temporary little measure here going on with a, a seat cover on top. Um, that will have to do just for now. It's not heavy rain, just a little bit, but just typical. <laughs> so uh, Tim is just making a wooden frame now to go around the outside um, and you're going to clamp it on, aren't you? Yes. Yeah, he's going to clamp it on it's with... It's going to be gluten clamped. Clamps. Clamps. <laughs> I'm trying to do my best to explain this. I'm not very good. But yes, yeah, he has to work pretty quickly at the moment because we don't want to get wet and everything in here will be... Well, there's not much in here to get ruined, but all these tools are in here, so it's going to work pretty quickly at the minute. So, drama over. It stopped raining for five seconds. Um, so I've just framed the window frame using no more nails, fixed it in, leaving it to dry. When that's dry, then the skylight can go in, I can seal it up and then screw it down and it'll be ready for tomorrow. Should we get this the right way? Because if I don't do it the right way, <laughs> yeah. first time. So that's the back. This is the sure? front. Yeah, this is the front. Right, it's going in. It's going in. It's already got a bead of silicon and I'm going to stick and I'm going to set it later. <laughs> Right, silicon's already on it. Just a matter of putting it up and putting it in place. Okay, make sure it's the right way. Yep. Handle at the back. Okay. And good. We are in. Uh, yep, all good. good. I'll just clamp it in and leave it overnight. Oh, how cool! So it's all right. Doesn't matter if it. Well, I hope it doesn't rain. <laughs> it, it, it's waterproof straight away. Um, tomorrow I'll go up and I'll uh, screw it down to make sure it's really tight. 
yeah. and then I'll run a bead of silicon all the way around the that outer edge of it as well. And then when we do recoat the whole roof, we're going to do it with that uh, Rhino paint. So that's going to be another layer of, and I'll make Production. sure I spray up the edges. Yeah, cool. So. Oh, <laughs> well done. Mission. Well, I'm excited uh, that's in, but we're going to leave you for tonight and we'll catch you tomorrow morning. Bye-bye. Good morning, everyone. So I came out this morning to have a look at the skylight in the sun and can I tell you, I am so pleased with it. It's, it's so bright and I think that was the best decision we've made for the van so far. Well, besides the lift bed. So this morning we are going to take the air conditioning off. I mean, it's 50 kilos, so I'm not sure if Tim can do this on his own. I will need to help, or we might need to get a neighbor to help us. We're not sure, um, but it's quite heavy. So let's see how he's gonna do that. Got a hitchhiker already. Little stick insect on the... <laughs> Come here. I don't know if you can see him, there he is, in all his glory. Anyway, really pleased with this. The silicon's gone off it's really nice it's uh, looking secure so we're just going to take all these uh, clamps off and get on with the other nasty work of getting that air conditioner down <laughs> How are we going to get this down? It's 50 kilos and uh, I think we're going to maybe wrap some rope around it and hoist it down. Not sure, no one's about, it's a bit early in the morning so. Van life struggles. Such a mission. <laughs> it is so hot this morning. There's no hardly any breeze, and it's just like that was very hot. And well I almost thought I was going to drop it, but I didn't. <sighs> I'm, I'm glad that's done. That's been what I've been worrying about that this morning while I was laying in bed. So, <sighs> on to installing the Max Air Fan. Yay! <sighs> Welcome back to Up on the Roof with Tim. And um, we've just fitted, cleaned all the silicon off of the original hole that the aircon had. That's all sealed, that's cured now, and we're just about to drop in the Max Air fan. And then we can move on to the next stage, which is remove the solar panels that you guys are sitting on at the moment. Installation's pretty easy once you just drop it in. There's four securing screws and you're good to go. And there you have it. Uh, you're probably wondering why I'm wearing this. This is actually 90% UV proof. Um, it's also, you can soak it and make it nice and wet, which I did because it's actually brutal up on this roof today, especially with the reflection of the sun. So I'm going to be bright red this afternoon, but especially on the face, but we'll see how we go. Um, you can see that the, the skylight is now in, the Max Air Fan is in, and now we've got to remove these solar panels. We're about to install a new fan. Number three hole. <laughs> yeah, I'm a bit concerned because the van is just... Uh... Becoming Swiss cheese. <laughs> It'll be worth it though. Let's go have a look at this uh, hole you put at the front. It's just a hole, nothing more. It's a bit not in the center, but I don't think it can be in the center because of the way the van's built. So... It's off set. And there we have the wooden frame clamped in and no more nails, ready to receive the outer casing. Use this here so we've got something to screw into and just instead of the metal. It makes it much more rigid as well. Now, for the final fan. 
to go in. <laughs> We're just about to fit the final roof hole. And so ends another day here at Van Build Central. The fans are in and they are working well. So that is me for the day. Everything's wired in, everything's sealed, everything's good. I am going to continue with uh, repainting the roof tomorrow. Catch you then. Well, I was going to sand the roof down and paint it, but as you can see, the weather has other ideas, but it's a really good way of testing whether or not we have any leaks. And I'm pretty sure we're not going to have any leaks, so I've really sealed it really well. So I'm just going to check this out and see if, uh, yeah, if we have any leaks. Happy to report we have no leaks. All is warm and dry inside our little house. Right, we're back on the roof. It's a bit of a mess. Um, we've got lots of little rust patches. We've got silicon all over it. It's, a, it's, it's nasty. So we're gonna give it a good old clean up. We're gonna mask everything up. We've removed the solar panels. Um, we're gonna sand everything down um, and prep it for paint. And then we're gonna paint it with some super strong um, 2K um, truck bed liner. It's the stuff they put in the back of the truck beds. Um, it's really tough, it's really durable and uh, it will serve us well for a few years and it's very very waterproof as well so <sighs> I suppose we get back to it that's hot work right now we've done the sanding and cleaned it off we're now going to do the rust treatment and uh, undercoat paint and then we're going to get on with masking up and then we're going to spray right <laughs> It's hot today. Anyway, as you can see, we've got it all taped up, all the seams are sealed, all the little patches that were problem looking bits of rust, they've all been done. So we're ready for the top coat. Stand by. Now the paint I'm using is a two pack paint. It's called Rocket. Um, yeah, you just uh, put your color in, you mix the hardener in with the color and then you give it a good shake. This is ready to go. So let's get back up on top of this roof and actually finish the painting. Hello, it is I. I haven't seen you for a while. Hello. And I'm not sure where Tim left you off. I think he was painting the roof and um, he ran out of paint, I think. <laughs> so we had to get some more paint, which we have got. But we've got another issue. Let me just take you inside. This fan above me here is not in the right place so we didn't realize that we we put a fan there because we had air conditioning there and um, we we're just basically just filling a hole but on the top of the roof there's no room for solar panels so <laughs> and also it doesn't create good airflow so we're going to move the fan to the back near the skylight we we're watching some other videos and we're watching max and oki and that's where he's got his so I think it would create a better airflow at night time for the van, so we're just going to, um, well Tim's going to just measure it out to see if it's actually viable to do that, and uh, we're going to move it. Mission. I think we can get two panels easily up here, we'll just up to, have to upgrade them when we've got a bit more money in the future to 600 yep. watts again, but we're just going to have to run a 400 watt system, which is alright in this country. But is 400 going to be enough? We've run on 600 for a long time now and um, it hasn't been a problem. I mean, well, a couple of times we've probably got down to maybe 30%, so I'm a bit worried about that. Maybe we can um, get portable. I want to boost. Yeah, we can get the portable ones to boost. Um, I'm not sure how much they are. EcoFlow, if you hear us, we need your help. 
<laughs> yeah, they, they look ridiculous there, those... Uh, yeah. Don't like that at all. So we'll move it to here. And try and get down this ladder. Um, yeah, we're going to put in a little shower fan as well. So um, it appears there's going to be heaps of room for that as well, if we do it this way. So win-win, I think. So we left you talking about um, moving the Max Air fan to the back, which we have done. Um, it is not in at the moment, it's just a hole there. At, uh, it's just easier for Tim to paint um, if it's just protected. So there's Coles bags and paper and stuff up there protecting it. But Tim is just finishing off the painting uh, right now. And it shouldn't take too long. The sun is back out. We're ready to roll. So it's pretty simple to mix up. This is your main coating. Add 100 mils of tint. This is the polyurethane coating, and this is the hardener. This is one shot that goes in there. Within an hour, it's touch dry, and within 24 hours, it's rock hard. So you have to, if you're going to mix it, you're going to use it. <laughs> it goes in there, and into the paint gun. So hopefully, this will be enough to complete the roof today. So that'll be good. Um, one more thing to tick off the list. <laughs> and away we go. Might leave him to that and uh, we'll come back and show you what the finished product looks like. So the painting is now done and, and as you can see behind me we're losing light very fast and Tim has to keep working behind me because <laughs> he's made up a bottle of that stuff and you have to use it within 24 hours or else it hardens and we can't leave it overnight. So he's just finishing under the windscreen and then we'll be done. But I videoed the, the final product um, before it got dark on the roof. So it looks pretty good I reckon, don't you think? <laughs> but anyway, I hope you enjoyed our video on the installation of our skylight and our Max Air fans and painting. And please subscribe if you haven't already. And please leave a comment. <laughs> Please leave a comment below and let us know Making what you think. Making a nice one. It's really hot. I'm sweating. Yeah, you sound a really good job. I'm really proud of you. Kill me now. <laughs> and uh, we will see you next week. See you later.